because it's a rotation, let's draw the free body diagram M. There's a gravity pointing down. And then there is a, a horizontal force, which is spring force FK. And then there are tension in the wire, we call it FL. And then the rotation is around point O. So we need to find, so we need to check these three forces and then identify what are the torque induced by each one. So FL, it doesn't create any torque, so we don't have to worry about it. FK, it does create certain torque. Then we need to find the arm. That's the length of the arm, right? This red line. So if you recall, this angle is theta, so that's why this angle is also theta. So the arm length is gonna be L times cosine theta. So we also look at the mg, gravity, the same thing if you recall the uh, pendulum example. So only these components gives you a torque. So that's mg sine theta. And in this case, the arm is the length of the L. So I show you two methods. You can either decompose your force or you can, or you can directly find the arm length. Either way, it's gonna work out. So the torque T associated with the gravity is going to be I theta mg times L. As we discussed before, because this torque, this force is going to push everything back to the equilibrium position that creates a clockwise rotation. So it's negative. Let's look at the torque associated with spring force, TK. So it's going to be the force. Fk times the length of the arm, L cosine theta. So the same thing, in this case, your Fk is gonna push your mass clockwise. So it's also negative. And then your Fk equals to the spring constant times the deflection of your spring x. And then from these geometry, you're gonna know your x is just the sine theta L. Okay, your FK becomes sine theta L K, and then you can plug everything back in to get rid of your x. So you have minus K L squared sine theta cosine theta. All right, so that's the torque. If you want, you can also add TL that's the uh, tension torque, uh, torque due to the tension force because there's no arm length, there's zero. So the sum of all these torques is gonna introduce a rotation. So the mass moment inertia in this case, you have a mass rotating around a, a pinpoint O. So that means your J is the same thing ML squared theta double dot. And then you just plug in all these torque values back in. You have minus sine theta MGL. You have minus KL squared sine theta cosine theta and plus zero. And then you can move things around. As I said, collect all the unknowns on one side cosine theta, mgl, sine theta equal to zero. So that's your equation of motion in terms of your theta. All right, so when you decided to use Newton's method, you need to be really patient and be, also be careful about your the direction of your force and torque. So the most error I identified in previous exam is you have the wrong direction of rotation or wrong direction of torque. And the, the second most common mistake is you missed one torque or one force in your free body diagram. So, when you, so that means when you draw your free body diagram, that's the most critical step. Okay, 
So we're going to learn Lagrange's method in the next lecture. Uh, I believe 80% of you is going to love Lagrange. <laughs> TK again. Okay, so in order to uh, in order to determine the t, uh, the direction of your TK, are you talking about how to get the uh, value of TK or how to get the direction? Okay, cool. So if you don't want to uh, find the uh, arm, don't want to find the arm, then I can decompose the force for you. All right, so let's look at here. You have a mass. That's the force we're going to focus on, Fk. And this is your theta angle. There's a point O. And then you can decomp when you Whenever you want to find a, a, um, a torque, you want to decompose your force in, along two directions. One of the direction is perpendicular to the... Um, one one is the tangential rotation uh, direction, which means it's perpendicular to the uh, radius of your rotation. The other one is called normal direction or norm direction. No. So this is along the uh, rotation radius. Okay. So you want to decompose your force along these two directions. You're going to have your F, K, norm, and F, K, tangential, okay? And then find out the geometry relationship because this is theta, so that's why these angle is theta, because theta plus beta is a half pi or 90 degree, all right? So that's why your F, K, T is cosine theta fk and then in this case your the length of the arm is the length of the line so it's l okay so when you, whenever you want to calculate the torque introduced by the force you want to decompose the force along tangential and normal direction and then only the tangential is going to give you the torque and then again um, make sure you check the direction of the torque all right so that should be it.